A developing story right now. A 34 year old mother of two is on life support after a car hit her while she was riding an electric scooter. Amber Ford was riding the scooter in Midtown at 14th and Crescent when a car just slammed into her and took off. CBS 46 is Ashley Thompson joins us live and Ashley you had a chance to talk with this woman's husband. I can't imagine what he must be going through. I did speak with him earlier today and he is just heartbroken. He and his wife are riding their e-scooters on 14th Street right here, just feet really away from their hotel when she was struck by a car. 34 year old Amber Ford was in town from Alabama with her husband for a quick weekend getaway. She didn't want to be far away from her kids in case the first time leaving them. They had plans to see a comedy show and would for the first time ever ride e-scooters. As soon as we pulled in the hotel, she saw them and you know, said, those look fun. We need to see if we can figure out how to ride them. And we were getting cussed out for being on the sidewalk. Um, so, you know, us not being locals, we didn't know it. So on the way home from the show, the two rode in the street, but just feet away from their hotel, Ford was struck by a car. And I heard heard either the scooter hit or her hit. Ford was taken to the hospital with a fractured skull. Her condition took a turn for the worst on Wednesday when she had a seizure and lost oxygen to her brain. I just, my kids, man, that's, that's all I can think about is my babies. My daughter loves, loves her mama and it's just, that's gonna be the hardest part here. In, here, my daughter as her mom. Ford is now on life support as her family prepares to donate her organs. They found a match for her liver and her kidneys and uh, I think some heart valves. This will be the city's third e-scooter related death. Last month, 37 year old William Alexander was killed when he fell off a scooter and under a bus. In May, 20 year old Eric Amos Jr. was killed when he was hit by a car on Westlake Avenue. Last month, Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms issued a moratorium on new e-scooter permits, but there are still thousands of e-scooters in the city. And an incident report says a witness could not give a description of the car that hit Ford, though her husband believes it was a dark colored sedan. I contacted Atlanta police. They are trying to find surveillance video from this area to catch that driver. Meantime, Atlanta City Council says they may take up scooter le legislation as early as August 5th. Live in Atlanta, Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News.